cold plunge, cold showers helped me with hot flashes and thermoregulation. If you don't know, one of the cardinal signs of perimenopause, menopause, menopause transition, postmenopause is vasomotor symptoms called hot flashes. So this is something that is coming from within and it has to do with the thermoregulation in our brain. Now, the cool thing is we can train our bodies. There isn't research on this yet, however, we always start with N of one case study. So I am writing a book on the science of women's health and wellness, and I came across the section of cold shock proteins, heat shock proteins. Heat shock proteins get turned on when we're in a sauna. Cold shock proteins get turned on when we are exposed to cold, whether it's cold water, cold uh, environment, whether it is swimming in a cold lake or doing a cold plunge. Now, for me, I started doing cold plunge to try it. I can't recommend people do it if I don't try it. And here is what I personally found. If I did my cold plunge for three minutes in temperatures that are below 57, 57 or below, I had increased dopamine, increased clarity in my mind, decreased joint pain, and I found out by accident that it made my hot flashes virtually go away because exposing myself to that cold made my body learn how to do thermoregulation better. And so mental clarity, increased dopamine, decreased joint pain, and less hot flashes? Yes, I will hurl myself into a tub of freezing cold water to make me feel better. Game changer. Now, not everybody can do that, but how I started was my massage therapist and I were talking about how she was taking um, one to three minutes at the end of her shower and turning it on cold. And I had started to do that, and then it just wasn't cold enough, and then we made a cold plunge at home. And in my biohacks, I have all my cold plunge videos if you want to take a look at that.